5-4 Johnson in the first round, 5-4 Franklin the second, 5-4 Johnson this round. Well, they're going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and highly unlikely. <laughs> either, either boxer will be around for 12. And every punch that John, uh, Franklin throws, whether it lands or not, his crowd is just going crazy. One of the more exciting bouts we've had on prison. Both fighters standing there throwing a great exchange, and then the other one sits back and throws an exchange, and believe me, the crowd is right on their feet with every exchange, no matter who's throwing them. Good left job, and now Johnson goes uppercut city to the head of Matt Franklin. See for yourself the name of this game is going to be conditioning. Johnson has a habit of walking into Franklin. Oh, oh what a left by Johnson there. Oh, oh really snapped Franklin's head back and bleeding rather profusely from the nose. Half the round the goal. Now four. Franklin takes the Shots by Johnson for about the first 75 seconds and then comes on the latter stage. Boy, does he ever. Both uh, fighters have thrown so many punches that, you know, they look almost uh, punched out by the fourth round. Johnson in the white trunks. Franklin tries to go uppercut. Left and right, but Franklin hits Barbara oh. Johnson. As Johnson oh, 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 he got two right. right. Johnson trying to hang on. He landed five seconds to go. That's it. And both fighters can't hit it after the bell. And listen to this crowd. We prepare for round five. That Frank one you have to score in favor of Matt Franklin. No question about that. See if Marvin Johnson has any punching power left. Ozzy Sadler, the referee, did not hear the bell that ended that round, and uh, Franklin able to get a couple more shots in, but not enough to hurt Marvin Johnson. I don't think anybody heard the bell. Everybody was yelling and screaming for Franklin to put him away. And Boy, it's exchange for exchange, three for three, three for three. Franklin exhibiting good straight left right jabs. Johnson favoring the hook. Here's the Johnson Fountain second win, Bob, but Franklin has, has been his style through the first four rounds. Taking the best shots by Marvin Johnson and then poured it on the last minute, minute and 30. Oh, good solid hook by Matt Franklin to the chin of Marvin Johnson. 
Oh, oh there's good game five. Johnson. Johnson. Left right combination. Right above us. Directly above us. Oh. Can you imagine the condition that both these athletes have to be in to exchange so many punches and to receive so many? They have had to train long and hard for this. Two well, real good left hooks by Johnson scored to Matt Franklin's job. There's a right hook that scored. Franklin is still there, still taking Johnson's best shot. 30 seconds to go in round five. Franklin with that sneaky, crisp right hook. Gets it in on Marvin Johnson's jaw. Oh, Johnson's good left side of left, just teeing off. Well, I have to say that despite Franklin winning the previous round, I've got to score that Marvin Johnson pin. Already into the center of the ring, way back by referee Ozzy Sadler. Round six. Franklin, uh, you remember, lost that real controversial decision to Eddie Gregory back in uh, March, I believe it was. So he came back and defeated Joe May, we mentioned earlier, and that Ed Savage Turner, but he's had three losses, and all three losses have been really controversial ones. So if it were not to the tune of a judge's pencil, we could have two undefeated fighters going after this title right here tonight. Matt, Matt Franklin, who was trained by Nick and Joe Blanchiori, bleeding again around the nose as Marvin Johnson tries to zero in. Oh, there was a good left by Johnson that scored it. Franklin weighed in and waited into it. Now Franklin starting the counter punch and doing it well. Oh, good left by Johnson to the head of Matt Franklin. Oh, good left jab got through. Right uppercut just glances. Hook, hook right and left uppercut by Marvin Johnson. Franklin's right eye is swelling somewhat underneath. Johnson is throwing with such intensity on a couple of occasions. He's going right off both feet. Franklin starting to cover up with 35 seconds to go in round six. Jackson Wick with a good left hook. Saw a lot of leather in the Briscoe bout, but it only came from one side. Here are both guys going at it. <laughs> Although on this round, oh, Matt Franklin taking a lot of punishment. Johnson just snapping Franklin's head back with that left uppercut and that right hook. Just snapping his head back and forth like a speed 